Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be showing you how to find the largest as a maximum value present in a column. So here I am having a table. I am using the name of my table. So this just has like three columns, R number, name and salary. So I am going to find the largest value which is 10,000 uh, present in this salary column. So I am going to do this with the help of uh, inbuilt function which is known as max. So it's going to be select the name of the function max which is the inbuilt function max and inside the max function we going to pass the name of the column for which we want to find the maximum value. So here I need uh, to find the maximum value present in the column cell. So I'm going to just put cell inside the max function. Select max of cell column from my table name, which is amnu. That's it. It's really simple over here. So 10,000 is the maximum salary. Let me just run it now. So I'll be getting max cell as 10,000. So what if you wanted to like, instead of this max cell, you want to display some other, let's say like, you want to name it as largest. So here you can just go over here and let, like, like add as largest so this text over here will be coming as a like a title over here so if you just write now i'll be getting largest over here so this is like pretty much optional it does not affect any functionality so this is like one way of finding the maximum value there's also like many other variations that you can do to use this max function let's say for example here we are having our column so what if we wanted to find the maximum salaries of r number having four okay so R number four occurs twice, okay. So which has salaries of 500, 500 and 100. So here we can like obviously guess 500 is a maximum salary, but what if like there were millions of values, okay. In that case, we need to use this function. So how we do is that, it's like really simple, which we'll be using the var keyword over here. So it's going to be var R num, that is the name of our column in which we are going to like impose the condition R num equal to four. So we'll be getting 500 as the output over here. So I'm getting the output as 500. So that's it for this video. And I've also done many other SQL interview questions and SQL query questions, as well as many other programming videos in C, C, Java, Python. So do check with the videos of my channel. Subscribe and support me. Thanks for watching.